Why do you work so hard? Oh, um, it's fun. It's music is what you love. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's just uh, the feeling, the feeling that you get from playing and uh, getting things out. The ideas come to you, and you get to put them down. And also, when you work, you you stay prepared for things when they come to you. And that, that's that's the, that's really the. It's like you're always in a, you're always ready. What did the Pulitzer mean to you? Well, it, it just, it meant uh, recognition for our music. And, uh, you know, for me, just the fact that the committee with musicians on it, too, they sat down with a score and they checked it out and they found something worthy in the music. That meant something uh, to me, mainly because as a jazz musician, you, your, your music and whatever your, your actual artistic achievement right. is never really... Uh, you, you, you don't get too much either recognition or, or not even recognition for it. You, you, won't get cu you won't get cut down because of it, and you won't be celebrated because you, of it. Yeah. Are you by nature a lightning rod for uh, you know, I don't, controversy? I don't think it's me. I, I, don't, I don't think it's really. It's just uh, um, I, it's, it's, it's difficult for me to find a way to, to, to combine the words to express it. But I think that a lot of times you come into a situation and there's tremendous amounts of corruption, which is also wet with, it has power, and you just, you're just not going to really go for that in public. You can't. You can, I can't do that. You can't stand by and let it pass. I just can't do it, man. Even, even the older I get, the less... When I was younger, I was a lot more fiery. And what's at the highest? What is at the top of that list for you? Just misrepresentation, willful misrepresentation for sales or for to titillate or any, just willful misrepresentation. Well, you must look around America today and find a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. A here. sense of absence of values and standards and. Well, yeah, but I, you know, and I, I, I find that, but I don't look at it in a moral sense. Or I don't in a, in moral, a, in a, but I mean in a sense of taste and, yes, and, I and see a that. quality of excellence and that kind of stuff. I, I see that, but I also see that, that, that that's not what people want. It's just that, that that voice of the people is never heard. And we will accept whatever we get. We will accept it. Okay, yeah, if you want me to go through this, I'll go through it. But that's not what we want. And, and this is what I we know to be true. We want to be inspired, challenged, taken to a place. That's that, right that very few go. And we want something with love in it. And we, want, we don't want to be at each other's throat, but we will be. We, we, don't, we will do that. But we want to get in the elevator in the morning and somebody say, good morning. We want that. But we also will accept, you know, standing there going. Yeah. So we, take, we accept the, the we, 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 we accept compromises to the best of us. We, well, yeah, and then sometimes it becomes the way that things are. And that's, that's the thing that I'm always, it, Things can be any way, way that we make them. How much of what you are is about sort of being like your father? A lot of it. A, a lot I learned from my father because he struggled his entire life with uh, popularity and playing and you know, whether to keep playing, what about music, and, and, and he, uh, he, he has a lot of integrity. He also would share the information with me. Like, like when I did this album, I called my father, man, what song should I? Oh, is that right? Should I, should I use? He said, well, this is a good one. matter of fact, we, we, we were, when we got together, we were at the piano. I called him, then I, I went to New Orleans, and we, we played through songs. It reminded me of when I was in high school again, you know? And he's playing the songs, and he's telling me, hey, this is a nice one right here. Did you once say that the, you didn't think there was anything worse than a jazz musician playing funk? <laughs> yeah, I said, there's nothing sadder than that funk the jazz musician <laughs> play, man. Oh, Lord, have mercy. What's the great dream for you? A great, great, great dream for me is to go around America one day when I'm old and hear, hear bands playing all over and to see a lot of adults come back and play. Yeah. And, and I, if I really, and, and, the, and not just to be playing, but to be playing with the type of soul and feeling that was first stated in New Orleans with, with people like Sidney Bechet and Louis Armstrong, like the feeling of that music, that everybody understand that that's for all of us and that we all can achieve that type of expression. 